So the market uh, is running into resistance basically at that same level. In fact, you see a lot of similarities uh, over here as you do over here, right? Okay, market running into resistance. So I'm going to uh, actually take another line, slap that up right there. Uh, the market got pretty close. So now what do I what have I what I've done is I've I've now got uh, sorry here let me I'm trying to get to there it is I call it a frame whoops that's not it oh yeah highlight there we go so now we have a zone of resistance here we have a zone of support there and you know what the market is absolutely going to trade in between these two areas and if it breaks out I can see that it's going to want to come down here and it's going to want to go up here actually a little bit better is going to be about like this so I want to write down what these prices are um, and, and the easy way to do that is I can go over here to these two highs Okay, and these two highs right here are about 2.0462. The highs right here are about 2.0398. So I want to write down resistance zone up here. I forgot the price already. Uh, support zone 2.0398. Then I want to look over here. The top end of this, this line here is 2.0213. So I've got 213 at the, at the top, down here, 132. So 213, 132, which is actually right about where price is at. Then down here, I want to do the same thing. This is about 99.55, and then 99.20. 99.55, 99 99.20. So I want to write all of those areas down. Okay, now this is on the daily. So we've gone from the weekly to the daily. And you don't have to do the weekly. You can do the same thing on the daily. Uh, and I know in the kit I just talk about the daily. Uh, so we're looking at the daily. Now we want to go down to the four hour. Okay, so what have we done up here? Uh, well, first thing that we did is we, we established the trend. We saw where the money was going. We saw where the market was pushing. We've also seen where the uh, on the daily chart, so the, the show where the money's going and the pushing is on the weekly. On the daily now, we see what? Logical points. Once we see these logical points, this is where we can start to establish target areas areas for breakouts so in uh, in this question uh, in inherent in the question is how can I find like, well actually no he says it is there an easy way to recognize a pattern okay so once we have our logical points we now have area and I'm writing this down that's why I'm, I'm talking funny uh, we have we have areas to focus on the logical points are areas where we should be looking for breakouts, where we should be looking for pennants, flags, double tops, triple tops, um, breakouts, tr or trend continuations. So once we have those areas mapped out where the market has found support and resistance points, we can then go down to the four hour and start to... Um, follow the short-term trends, whoops, wrong button, and look for patterns. So you can see I've got some of them mapped out here. I haven't mapped out all of them because then it gets kind of confusing. And remember,